the first two weeks of 2024 were just dominated with all this Disney Star Wars news, the controversy surrounding the Ray activist director. And then, of course, the big announcement we got from Lucasfilm about the Mandalorian and Grogu movie. And then a few days ago, and you were here with Jeremy, you know, to talk about it when it happened. All of a sudden, we got reports about the Ray movie being delayed indefinitely. Um, and by reports, I mean basically one place, World of Real, ran with the story. But as other people started to come out, other scoopers, other people who, uh, you know, always talking about the inside going on at Lucasfilm, they seemed to indicate that that wasn't the case, that they were continuing forward, pretty normal process. But regardless, it started a massive wave of news, specifically about Daisy Ridley and the Ray movie. Conflicting reports emerge about whether Daisy Ridley's Ray movie has been delayed indefinitely. The Ray Star Wars sequel is not canceled, despite rumors. Ray movie reportedly moving forward as planned, and we may have a release date. But regardless of all that drama, that fucking nonsense that just once again proves that Kathleen Kennedy has no idea what she's doing, that Lucasfilm will continue to be a chaotic mess and a nightmare. That's why these rumors get out because of the poor leadership at the fucking place 100%. to begin with. We did learn something very interesting. Now, this is from Jeff Snyder. He's one of those people that came out and said pretty much that that rumor of being delayed indefinitely. That's that's not true, that it is continuing to move forward, that continuing to develop the script. But he did reveal something else. And that's how much Lucasfilm is paying Daisy Ridley to return for Star Wars. Star Wars star Daisy Ridley's bonkers rumored salary for return will shock fans. Daisy Ridley will be paid handsomely for her Star Wars return as Rey Skywalker. Daisy Ridley must have said, show me the money in her contract negotiations. The Rey actress will return to the upcoming film and her salary has been revealed. Jeff Snyder of The Insider is reporting that Ridley will be paid $12.5 million what? to return yeah. to Star Wars. <laughs> now, to put that in perspective. Good on you, Daisy. Good on you. Good get that fucking you. money. If they're going to get your me, money, man. Fucking get, get that it. money, Daisy Ridley. But <laughs> to put it in perspective, an episode of The Mandalorian costs roughly $15 million. And that's basically what Daisy Ridley is getting paid for one actress to return in a Star Wars movie that a significant portion of people in the fan base are not really interested in. I I love it. I, I want, like I said before, I hope they spend $500 million on this film. You know, uh, let's just spend the first $200 million on salaries and a key grip. You know, let's just do that. And, then, <laughs> and whatever. I just, I, I hope the budget is massive because it, with the, with, with the director and all that stuff, they virtue signal so hard. It's like, well, you know, if uh, if they don't spend a lot of money, uh, a big budget on this, what if she? What if the director comes out and says, "Well, I couldn't, I couldn't succeed because they they gave me a poor budget. Like I couldn't succeed in this film. It's it's their fault. Point the finger back at Disney. It's their fault because they know that that probably would happen. So spend all your money, man. Like spend it all." You know, get you got that tax break from the Galactic Star Cruiser. <laughs> like, spend it all, man. I want to see it, but uh, at the end of the day, good on you, Daisy Ridley. Get that, get that Star Wars money before it's gone. I like to make men uncomfortable. What? Yeah, it'd be one thing if Daisy Ridley was a uh, you know a big box office draw, right? If she had gone on after Star Wars to like do some interesting things. Let's look at her last movie that hit theaters. Daisy Ridley's new movie off to a terrible start at the box office. Daisy Ridley's new movie grosses less than $1 million. Can't even crack box office top 10. And it was this one, The Marsh King's Daughter, which when it was all said and done, made $2.6 million worldwide. <laughs> now, of course, this is not some big blockbuster movie or something. It got released on a little over a thousand screens, blah, blah, blah. But still, they, like, it, it's not like she herself is a box office draw. Obviously, right. if you want Ray... It comes with Daisy Ridley, right? right? It's kind of part of the package. But $12.5 million, that's a lot of fucking money. And, uh, you know, despite a lot a lot of people pushing one way or the other, certainly this movie is not anywhere close to being canceled like a lot of people had speculated. That's a lot of fucking money I to dump what, down the drain for a character that people are not invested in. What Do, do, do we know, like, what her salary was for, like, the original trilogy? I know it wasn't even close to that, but... I assume you mean like, the original sequel movies. Her sequel trilogy, like, her um, her trilogies, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, So, 
I know that for Force Awakens, it was probably around like quarter of a million, three hundred thousand dollars, something like that. Right. Uh, like I remember her, John Boyega, relative newcomers. They right. they didn't get paid a ton. I imagine that increased after for through Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker. I don't know what those numbers were. I do remember reading at one point in time that Star Wars basically, you know, overall she ended up getting paid ten million dollars for the entire thing. So somewhere around there, obviously, this would be a pretty big pay increase from that. Interesting. But, um, and I'm not saying that she should get paid what she got paid when she was like an unknown right, right. person. No, 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 but not at all. The twelve and a half just, million when you compare it to again, that's an episode of The Mandalorian. That, but th yeah. that's the thing though. Like they haven't, Ray hasn't done like this character hasn't done anything since the Rise of Skywalker. There's no, you know, no one's running out to the store to buy her action figure. Look, there they are. <laughs> The only thing that sh that this character has done is showed up at the Galactic Star Cruiser fighting Kylo Ren in a terrible choreography <laughs> uh, fight scene. Um, so, uh, hey, but I, I hope John Boyega's next, man. Give John Boyega $20 million. Like, let's get him in this film. Well, you ain't going to Disney Plus me. Well, you know? and there's uh, there, there was even, like, speculation in there that they might even want that to get out to entice other people, like entice some other people to come right, back that's what maybe. i'm saying like john boyega is like she got what sign me up <laughs> he's like well you ain't gonna put me on disney plus but i'll still come back <laughs> that's right uh, <laughs> that's right he'll take that pay that's right that's exactly oh man are you kidding me 10 million dollars come and yell ray for uh you know just a couple lines in the new film that's all you got to do I'm, I'm in sign me up Bro, there's not a whole lot that I wouldn't do for twelve million dollars. You kidding me? Gay! Twelve million dollars? A lot of fucking money. You can put After me in any bad. You can put me in any bad movie you want. That's for sure. Effing book for five. Godzilla minus one costs the same as one episode of The Mandalorian. Well, oh yeah, that's right. Easy really is getting paid as much as it costs for them to make Godzilla minus one. I said what? What in the butt? I said what in the butt? I said what what in the butt. I said what what in the butt. You wanna do it in my butt?